through these scriptures. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick, um, I want to read just a couple of verses ahead of that, and then I'll get into uh, what I want to really say tonight. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter number 4. 2 Timothy chapter number 4. And of course, we preachers know this scripture uh, because every time we hear the scripture, someone's instructing us concerning ministry. But I want to speak to the people tonight, amen, from these verses tonight. 2 Timothy uh, chapter number 4. And um, let me just read verse number 1. It says, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who should judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Mm -hmm. And they shall be turned away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make proof of the ministry. For I am now ready to offer, and time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at the day. And not to me only, but unto all, but excuse me, unto all them also that love his appearing. And for a topic tonight, I want to choose, amen, a focused life. A focused life. You may have your seats, amen. A focused life. Uh, the Apostle Paul here in our text um, summarizes his life experiences in this text. Something that we can glean from, glean from his experiences. Paul in this text gives us, amen, some things that we need to hear, amen, what he's saying. So we're, we want to see the example that Paul is giving us here. Paul is, he's telling us, he's giving us a picture of a focused life. Right. A focused life. He allows us to see what is important and what should be our priorities. Right. We need to make sure that we're clear about what we're doing. Right. Clear about who and what we believe. Right. Because many people are a man falling by the wayside. Right. And we need to make sure and understand in whom we believe. All right. So Paul is telling us, amen, he's giving us, amen, some words of encouragement. He's talking to Timothy, and he's giving us a word. He said, you need to make sure that your life is focused. Paul is our model yes. for our lives. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. There is a need, brothers and sisters, for strong leadership. Yes. There is a need for strong leadership. Many folks that are standing behind the sacred pulpit are not necessarily being the examples that we need. God is raising up those that will stand strong. Amen. Not these weak meat preachers that's here for the moment and gone the next day. Or that they're only for what they can get. Brothers and sisters, Paul said, we need strong leaders. He's telling Timothy, be strong. Don't succumb. Amen to an, amen the temptations of life. Amen. Be amen which you called to be. Yeah, yeah. God said He's looking for those that are going to amen be amen there and not draw back, All right. not compromise All right. the scriptures. Yeah. But we need strong leaders. Come on now. We need people that's going to stand up for those things that are of God. Yeah. Young people, listen. I have found that the best teachers are those that have been down the road. Yes. We learn from their experiences. 
Paul is giving us his experiences. Right. Pastor Tate, Pastor Graham, and Pastor Johnson, when I first started ministry, I wanted to talk to some preachers that had done this before. Right. And I said, tell me, what would you do different if you could do it all over again? Because usually sometimes we get down the road that we, we say, oh, I wish I could back up again. Yes. Yes. So I, 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 young people learn from those that have been down the road yes. because they're going to save you some trouble. Yes. Yes. Learning from their experience. But sometimes when we get 18 years old, we think we know all that. Yes. Yes. But I've learned the best teachers are those that have been down the road. Yes. They're going to tell me. Where the bumps in the roads are at. Amen. Yes. They're going to tell me where the pitfalls are at. Yes. They're going to tell me, son, you got to brace yourself. When you get right here, you're going to win some trouble here. Yes. So be ready. All right. uh -huh. Learn from their experiences. Right. Paul is telling Timothy, learn from what I'm about to teach you. Right. The book of Proverbs, amen, is a book of wisdom. Yes. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 1 says, amen, my son. If thou will receive my words and hide my commandments within thee. Yes. Listen to what, amen, those that have gone before you. Right. Solomon telling us, listen, pay close attention. Amen. We're not here in church just to pass time. Right. But we need to hear what the Lord is saying. Yes. We need to hear, amen, the men and women of God that are speaking the word of God. Yes. Not just speaking it, but are living it. Yes. 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 That are standing up for the truth. That are being the examples. All right. Follow me as I follow Christ. Yes. Yes. Tell, tell people, how do you know if I'm following Christ? Come on. How do you know that I'm following? You got to know the word for yourself. Because the Bible said the blind lead the blind and they're all in up there. Brothers and sisters, we need strong leadership. Yes. Yes. We need people that are going to stand up for the truth, yes. that won't compromise. In our text, the Apostle Paul sums up his experiences so we can learn from these things. Yes. There are many things in the world, even in the visible church, that has come to distract us from our God-given purpose. Yes. That has come to try to get us off the road. Yes. Amen. It's come to try to get us, amen, to chase our tails. Yes. But God said you got to know what God has called you to do. Right. There's a lot of foolishness sometimes in the visible church. Right. Preachers are preaching sermons, amen, that are making folks feel good. Right. Mm. Yeah. They're, they're, they're seeking them out, y'all. Right. So don't get mad when you got a bunch of folks in the auditorium, amen. They, them folks are looking for folks that's going to tell them what they want to hear. Yes. I told the saints last week, some of y'all can't handle the truth. Right. You want me to lie to you. Yes. You want me to tell you it's all right for you to shack up. Come on. You want me to tell you it's all right for you to go to bed with Susie and that God, God understands your heart. You can't handle the truth because your flesh wants to have his way. But you got to stand up and tell the truth anyhow. Even when they don't like it. He said, be instant season and out of season. Preach it when they like it and preach it when they don't like it. We need to make sure that we stay focused. That our lives are an example. Because brothers and sisters, people need an example. Yes. 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 Many folks saying, Lord, Lord, mm -hmm. but they ain't what they say they are.